Hello my loves, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mia, Mia Sanchez, Mia K. Sanchez, and I make college technology and lifestyle content. Today, I am going to be spilling some tea about what it's really like being a computer science major here at Cornell University. So I asked people on my Instagram to ask me questions about what it's like being a computer science major at Cornell and what my experience has been like. So I got a few questions about the major, a few questions about Cornell, and a few questions about computer science in general. If you're not following me on Instagram, make sure to go follow me. I do questions. I'm trying to engage more with my followers, but I really hate social media, so bear with me as I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to navigate this. Before I get into this, I just wanna say thank you guys so much for 600 subscribers. I am so super happy about the growth that my channel has had and I'm really trying to post consistently for y'all. So before I start answering the questions, don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video with anyone who you think it can help. I'm super excited to not only grow my channel, but to grow with y'all. So yes, thank you guys so much. And I really appreciate all the support that I've gotten thus far. And let me just get into these questions now. Just for a little bit of background info, again, my name is Mia. I am a junior slash third year at Cornell University. I am originally from Yonkers, New York. I went to a public high school. I did not come into college with a crazy amount of computer science experience. I honestly didn't even want to major in computer science when I entered college. That's just a little bit of background about me. And now I can just get into these questions. So the first question is, what is computer science and what made you want to major in it? So I'm just going to read the Wikipedia definition of computer science and then I'm going to try and explain it in my own terms. Wiki says, computer science is the study of algorithmic processes and computational machines. As a discipline, computer science spans a range of topics from theoretical studies of computation and information to the practical issues of implementing computing systems in hardware and software. Just to clear something up right now, computer science is not the study of computers. So computers and actually like building computers and all that hardware that's electrical and computer engineering in my experience computer science focuses more on computer languages and algorithms and like the applications of computer languages it's like some exposure to hardware but i think that that's also kind of dependent on how your school shapes the computer science major so i have had to kind of learn about computers and like memory and all that stuff yeah you can make like websites video games applications programs algorithms like all those different things there's so many applications of computer science so i just feel like if you major in computer science you have like literally the entire world in this little thing right here the entire world you can do whatever the hell you want you can do whatever your heart desires what made me want to major in computer science well, little story i didn't want to major in computer science when i got to college i was like but my mom was like girl you cannot apply undecided to these schools but you better put something down so i chose to apply as a computer science major because i knew that I have a bunch of different interests. I don't just have one thing that I want to do for the rest of my life. I'm very passionate about a few different things. So even if I did end up hating the computer science major, I could combine those skills with something that I love, which is something that was really appealing to me. The major is not limiting at all. So that's why I like applied to colleges as a computer science major. Luckily, when I got to college, I did end up falling in love with computer science and programming, which has only benefited me because now I can do this thing that I love, but also combine it with something else that I love and just flourish, flourish, flourish. So if you don't know what to major in, I would really recommend majoring in computer science. Yes, it's difficult, but you could be coming out of college with a six figure job off the bat and grades aren't the most important thing for computer science majors. So I just think it's a really good default major if you don't know what you want to do. And I could talk about that in another video like why you should major in computer science let me know if y'all want to see that did you come into college with any computer science experience and do you think it's necessary i want to major in cs but i'm scared because i've never taken a coding class before and i don't know anything to start off you do not have to come into college having computer science experience in order to major in computer science if that was the case then there would be a lot of people who could not major in computer science College is a place where you're supposed to learn things and expose yourself to new things. And I know a lot of high schools that don't offer CS classes. My high school personally didn't offer computer science classes. I had never taken a formal CS class before I entered college. I did do the Girls Who Code program. 
if there's any second or third year women who are in high school right now, I would definitely recommend applying to the Girls Who Code program for summer 2021, but I did do that program. I did it before my junior year of high school, so I didn't really remember anything coming into college, and the program was really fast-paced, so I didn't really have an understanding of computer science or computer languages, so I came in with experience on paper, but I really didn't remember anything. I came in and I didn't get to skip any classes, like I didn't have any high school credit coming into college, I had to take all the classes, I could not skip anything, didn't come in with any formal CS experience, and I did fine. And I know a lot of other people who didn't come in with any experience who are doing more than well right now. So if you want to major in it, if you just want to take a class in it, don't feel like you need to have any major experience before that just go for it. Someone asked, what is the hardest class you've taken at Cornell so far? So I don't even know if this counts because I literally had to drop the class because it was so hard. So I don't even know if I've taken it because I had to drop it after the first exam because like my soul, my soul just, it couldn't. So it was called Physics 2213. Physics to electromagnetism, y'all, that class, like I walked into the exam for that class and I looked at it and I was just like, I can't answer any of this. I literally cannot answer a thing after I had been studying for days. That's the thing that got me tight. I was doing all the homeworks. I studied for days. I missed a conference because I was studying for the exam. And I walked into that exam room and I looked at the exam and I couldn't answer a single question. I literally sat there for an hour and a half thinking about my life, reflecting on my life, on my major, on my college experience, and what I was getting out of it. That class had me all the way effed up, and I got like a 20 something on the exam, which is just embarrassing. Like, I might as well not have studied for it. Oh, girl, that class, Physics 2213. But also, if you're at Cornell right now and you have to take Physics 2213, you will be fine. You will do better than I did. Like, don't be scared of it. Just that was by far the hardest class that I've taken. If you're at Cornell or you want to apply to Cornell, don't be intimidated. There are a whole bunch of resources if you want them that you can use and you will be fine. But yeah, I mean, college is hard, you know, we're exposing ourselves to a whole bunch of new things. So it's expected that your classes are hard. So the next question is what classes are you taking this semester and what extracurriculars are you in? So I am in five classes, I guess. I am in a functional programming class. I'm in operating systems. I am in introduction to African-American cinema. I am in black women and political leadership. I adore that class. And then I am in a practicum for my artificial intelligence class. So the practicum is pretty much just like I have a semester long project that I need to work on and I'm working on it with my girls. If y'all are watching, hi Maxine, Ion, and Julie. <laughs> But anyways, so that's 16 credits. And then this semester I actually got onto a project team. One thing that's really special about Cornell is that they have project teams, which is pretty much an opportunity for students to build products or programs or different things and get exposure to working on projects outside of classes before they get into the industry. I'm actually a product manager for Cornell's design and tech initiative. And I am a product manager on a product called QMEN. Being on a project team is actually three credits that are graded for the semester. So I'm actually in 19 credits, but being a product manager is not so much about classes and studying for a test, but more about like experience and working on a product. And it's something that I've really been enjoying so far and it is my first semester. So it's just a really amazing learning experience. In terms of extracurriculars, I'm a teaching assistant for the discrete structures course. So discrete structures is like a math computer science class. This is my second semester being a TA for that class, and it's my third semester working on a Cornell computer science staff in general. So that's like a five to six hour week commitment. Sometimes I volunteer and I hold office hours for another organization that I'm involved in called the Underrepresented Minorities in Computing. So with the Underrepresented Minorities in Computing, I'm the co-events chair, which pretty much means that I oversee all event planning, I'm working with two other people, Teddy and Johannes, if y'all are watching what's up. So that's my role right now on the underrepresented minorities in computing. Hopefully at the end of the semester, I can apply to be president, but we shall see. I have been a part of that organization since I was a freshman and I absolutely adore it. If you are 
currently at Cornell and you are Black, Latinx, or Indigenous identifying and you are not in URMC and you're in a tech major, what are you doing? Join the organization right now. Leave a comment down below and I will add you. Come on now, don't play. Do not play. Those are all the classes and extracurriculars that I'm in. So someone asked, do you work on projects of your own outside of class? If so, how do you make time for them? So I don't really work on like computer science projects outside of class. I'm not really coding outside of class. I guess like my main thing that I'm like doing that's completely unrelated to Cornell and isn't a Cornell commitment is my YouTube channel but there is still time management that goes into that that would still go into like working on a side project so in terms of time management I have a video on productivity but you have to really manage your time here because Cornell can give you a lot of work and it can be really overwhelming but if you manage your time I do believe that you can make time for anything so I'm not coding outside of class, but I do work on YouTube. And again, I'm on a project team, so I'm doing product management for a specific product, part of the Cornell Design and Tech Initiative. And about finding time, you just have to organize and understand when you need to make sacrifices and also really have your priorities together. Like understand what's important to you, understand what you wanna be working on and understand that you can't put your 100 into everything. So you really have to figure out what matters to you and what you wanna be putting time into. So the next question is, what is your favorite thing about being a computer science major? By far, it's the communities that I've been able to find both in my major and in my college. To me, computer science at Cornell is something that's very difficult to do alone. So I really found like a solid group of people that I can depend on, that I can support and that can support me. And that just makes me so happy. Like, oh, I just wanna see us all winning. And right now we are, and that makes me so happy. So that's like, 10,000% my absolute favorite thing about being a computer science major. I love collaborating with people. I love helping people. If you're watching this and you know, you know who you are, you know who you are. I love y'all, I love y'all. Okay, someone asked me, how much time do you spend doing homework a day and do you have to dedicate all of your time to work? <laughs> so, So it depends. First of all, college is what you make of it. So my, like, here's an example. My freshman year, I was grinding. I'm not gonna say I had a bad time, but freshman year was not like the best time of my life because I was literally always doing homework, always doing work. Do I regret it? Absolutely not. But I will say that my freshman year was like, not rough, but not fun, but you'll talk to other people who said like freshman year was like such a good time and they miss it and it was like the best time of their lives. That was not my experience. So just off the bat, college is what you make of it. You can decide to do work all day every day and you can decide to do like the bare minimum, absolutely no work, have an amazing time with your friends. So in my personal experience, my freshman year, I was dedicating all of my time to homework, all my time to schoolwork. And yes, it did pay off, my sophomore year, I was still kind of going fairly hard. It was not as severe as freshman year because I was already getting a little bit burnt out, but I was still like dedicating most of my time to my schoolwork and my extracurriculars. And now my junior year, this is the least amount of time that I have spent doing classwork. I'm not taking as many classes that require as much work or that are super, super hard this semester. And then another level of it is like, I'm not necessarily trying to get A's this semester and spend all of my time working on school. I wanna do things outside of school. I want to, you know, continue to pursue my YouTube channel. And also I'm really trying to take care of my mental health. So I have different priorities. So it really depends on your priorities. You can be fine not doing work all day, every day. But I think that in order to get like straight A's, I really think that you have to kind of dedicate all of your time to work and now i don't dedicate all of my time to work right now i'd say i spend maybe like five to six hours a day doing work slash class or no maybe six to seven doing like classes and then also like schoolwork. but my freshman year like from 9 a.m to 11 p.m your girl was working like yeah she would eat in between she would take like little breaks but i was working all day every day so it depends just it just depends on your priorities i guess that's the way that i'll put it this question this question is a little bit thick but i like it so someone asked as if computer science wasn't competitive enough 
What do you think of people who do not major in computer science but are actively coming for your skills to add to their set? For example, in bio and aim, learning how to code and getting into other deeper complexities that would initially or in years prior be, for lack of better wording, considered a computer science specialty. Personally, I encourage as many people as I can to take a computer science course, to expose themselves to computer science, to have at least one computer language on their resume. That's just how I feel about it. I think that computer science is really an amazing thing that everybody should be exposed to at least once. It'll expose you to a new way of thinking. It is an amazing skill to add to your resume. So in my personal opinion, if you are a non-computer science major watching this right now, I encourage you to take at least one computer science course. Even if you get like a B minus, a C plus in that class, do you understand that you can now put a computer language on your resume? And that is such a big advantage. I don't feel like threatened or feel like my position is being like snatched if someone else is trying to learn computer science. First of all, if you take that position from me, then you clearly deserved it. That's number one. Number two, as Black, Latinx, and Indigenous people, I think that we all kind of need to be exposing ourselves more to computer science because there are not enough of us in that field. So if you are watching this, please, please, please take a computer science course. I think the payoff is worth it. And Yes, please, please take a computer science class if you can. I encourage you to. Someone asked, what are some good programming websites to refresh your memory? If you are a kind of computer science student or you're someone who has been familiar with computer languages for a while, then I feel like if you just do HackerRanks, LeetCode, or FireCode.io, and then as you're doing like those problems, you kind of look things up online, I feel like that's a way to refresh your memory because I feel like with computer languages, it's kind of like riding a bike. Like once you re-familiarize yourself with it, you're good. But if you are completely new to CS, you don't know anything, you've never seen a computer language, you don't even know what programming is, you don't know what a code is, like what is a code, then I would recommend using Code Academy or Udemy. So those are two resources that I have used before. I've used them to learn things that are completely new and also to refresh my memory. Those are two really great resources. I've also learned a lot from YouTube. There are in-depth tutorials on languages, baby. So take advantage of that. So then the final question is, what's one piece of advice you would give to someone who wants to major in computer science? So I think the biggest piece of advice that I can give is ask for help when you need it. I think it's really, really important that you ask for help and you communicate your struggles and you kind of not lean on people, but lean on people when you're in this major. Cause again, it's a really difficult major and you're not gonna be able to get through it alone. No one expects you to know everything and you shouldn't know everything. So you should really be asking for help when you can, whether it's from friends, whether it's from the professor, whether it's at office hours, because when you have those people that are supporting you, I also think that you're more likely to not give up. If you are alone and you're going through it by yourself, you're going to tell yourself that you can't do it because you're most likely going to be hard on yourself. But if you have people that are there for you, they're going to tell you, no, like you can do it. We're going to get through this together. And I think that that is so important, especially when you're in college, when you're learning a whole bunch of new things and when you're being really vulnerable because college is a vulnerable time when you're exposing yourself to new things that you don't know. It's really important to have people that you can lean on and people that you can go to. So. Ask for help when you need it. You are not wrong for asking for help. You should be asking for help and do not try and go through this by yourself because it's not worth it. It is not worth it. Those were all the questions that I had gotten. If you guys have any other questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching this video. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe. Show me some love. Again, I'm here for y'all. I love y'all, I appreciate y'all, and I am here for y'all. If you need anything, feel free to leave it in the comments down below. And with that being said, I will see y'all in my next video. <gasps>